Hello everybody and welcome back to Nintendo Flips. My name is Jens and we're back at it again buying new games, systems, accessories, action figures, whatever you can find to be able to go ahead and fund that 3DS collection which is back there and hopefully complete that by the end of this year. If not, well, we tried. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to pick up a lot of games. Um, I finally be able to make a video. I was sick again. I got flu A a month ago. And then I got better, and then a week uh, and a half ago, I got flu B. It's just, I don't know how many flus there are. I didn't even know you could get two flus in one year or one season. But uh, yep, so here we are. Anyways, um, today we're gonna talk about loose games because last time, uh, last year we had a challenge going, which was the blue box special challenge. Uh, whatever loose games that we would buy, uh, if there were Switch or 3DS or DS, we throw them in here. And even PS Vita games. And then uh, we, we took, uh, I think I, about a half a year or, or so, I just kept throwing games in here. Last year we sold them, it was about $2,500. We were able to make some really good profit. We turned around and used that profit to buy some of those Super Nintendo games that are back there, like Final Fantasy 3, 2, Secret of Mana, Mystic Quest, and Secret of Evermore. Evermore. So not too bad. Uh, we were able to make some good profit this year. As you can see, our collection was kind of slim, right? Like not, not a lot this year uh, uh, of collecting, but there was this one seller who came out of nowhere, our savior, oh, and he had some amazing stuff for sale and I was there to pick it up. So the first day that I saw his post, I ended up picking up this Kid Icarus uh, for 100 RMB. That's about, I would say $15. They are complete. And this one tends to sell about $50 to $60, so pretty good profit from that one. But he had loose games, which is what really kind of like made me focus on his profile. And I picked up these four games here. First two is uh, Kid Icarus Loose and Fire Emblem. Oop, focus, focus, yep, picked them up. Uh, Fire Emblem, he wanted 60 RMB. Uh, sorry, Kid Icarus 60 RMB, Fire Emblem 60 RMB, which is about $7, I would say. And then he had loose copies of Pokemon X and Y, which are right here. And for these, he wanted 70 RMB, which is about, I would say $8, uh, somewhere around there. I picked up these two. So I was like, okay, pretty cool, not bad. He had some good games, great prices. And usually when you purchase something from a person on the app, the uh, link will kind of like um, go gray and it'll say like sold out, right? So the next morning when I woke up, the link kind of like went back to being active. So I was like, oh, maybe this guy has some more. So I purchased another copy of Kid Icarus for 100 RMB complete. And then I purchased four more games. I said, okay, well, if he's got them, I'm gonna pick them up. Again, same price, 70 RMB each. Whoop, 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 whoop. There you go. And then uh, let's see, make sure I'm organizing these games here. Another copy of Pokemon, uh, oops, it's two Pokemon Ys. Pokemon Y and X. So not too bad. I was like, okay, cool. This guy had some extra ones. Link goes gray. Uh, later on that day, the link comes back and I'm like, well, we're gonna pick up another one. Uh, another copy of Kid Icarus and four more um, loose games, which are right here. And I was like, how, how does this guy have so many loose games and exact same four copies? So I ended up picking it up from him. Uh, he sent them to me uh, when they started coming in. They are a little, they were a little bit dirty. It looks like maybe they were in a box or something, some stuck, some sticky stuff. I'll put the picture up here and I started cleaning them, you know, making sure, testing the games, testing the pins, the logging into the profiles of some of these games. And what's really amazing is some of these Pokemon X or the Y games, they have profiles that have like 400 hours or 200 hours or 150 hours of somebody playing. Uh, these games. I'll see if I can put some footage up here. And I was just like, wow, like that's a lot of time to be invested into these uh, Pokemon games. So they probably have a lot of like awesome, amazing Pokemon on there. And all of them worked. Um, eventually, I mean, I did run into one or two that didn't, but he was really nice about it, traded. And um, I ended up purchasing more from him. Eventually, guys, like uh, after a whole month of purchasing, I purchased a ton of these loose games from him and he still had more but he had to like leave out of town or vacation or something so I haven't been able to pick up any more for the last week it's okay uh, I think uh, once he comes back eventually I'll see if he um, puts the links back up I'll purchase some more games from him so I don't know where he got them I don't know if he purchased like a bulk box of them or something like that 
but I was happy to just keep buying little by little uh, at a time. And you'll see here like the purchase links, I put them up here, like I bought a thousand RMB uh, worth of them. I bought like 240 RMB, 140. I was just purchasing in small increments from him just because I didn't know how many he had and I didn't want to ask him. So I just said, okay, let's, let's keep buying and see what happens. And eventually um, for Pokemon X, guys, I ended up picking up 19 copies of it, which are like right here. There's a few here and then plus the ones that I just picked up here. 19 copies of Pokemon X and I paid uh, for each one of them again, 70 RMB. And each one of these, uh, I paid let's say $7, $7.50, right? They sell for $23 each one of these. For Pokemon Y, I ended up picking up 21 copies of this one from him. And uh, this one sells for $25. So there's 25 copies of that. It's a lot of loose games. And then uh, Fire Emblem, I only picked up about 10. I didn't think that maybe it was going to do too well. So I was like, okay, I'll pick up about 10 of them. It's not too bad. And I did spend some time cleaning all these games, guys, testing them, uh, cleaning the pins, because some of them wouldn't play right away. So I did clean them up. And here's the Kid Icaruses. Uh, Kid Icarus, I picked up 20 of them. Uh, again, paid about $7 a piece. And each one of these can go for about 45 the loose Kid Icarus. So it was a really good investment from this person. It was a total of um, 70 games altogether. I paid the man 4,600 RMB, which is $646. And the total value of that lot right there is about $2,100. That's not including uh, these games here because these won't go into the uh, loose uh, box, but all these here will. And again, uh, if you think about it, so Pokemon Y, we got 20 of them. They sell for about uh, 25 a piece. So for the this stack of 21 games right here, you're looking at about uh, $525. And then you have Pokemon X. Uh, we paid what, um, again, 70 RMB, which is about $7, $7.50. They sell for about 23. You're looking at about $437 right here which is really crazy. And then the Fire Emblem, this one, we paid 60 RMB, about $7, $7.50 maybe. And, uh, whoops, 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 focus. It's always gonna do that. Uh, uh, where's focusing? Can't figure it out. Put it closer. Nope, there we go. So Fire Emblem, uh, we got 10 of these. Uh, they sell for about 25, so $250. And then the big banger, of course, Kid Icarus, we got 20 of them. Uh, we paid about $7 a piece, $7.50, and they sell about $45 each, so it's almost $900 in value of uh, games. And now, guys, this is what our little blue box challenge looks like. Here are all the games now. Now we are doing good. Uh, whoops. <laughs> now we're doing really good, and this is all, again, guys, going to be used to buy Super Nintendo games and get some of those games that are missing right there. So not too bad. It's just like a, a mountain of Kid Icaruses right here. Uh, and again, guys, it was just just a random person. I, I don't know where he got all of these games. If he bought them in a lot from somewhere, if they were refurbished games. Uh, I'll put some pictures up here of how the games looked and how dirty they were. Some of them had stickers, but nothing that I could tell like maybe where they were from or if they were from a store or if they were refurbished or where they came from. Uh, I thought it was just really interesting that um, he had so many of these games and such a great price. Well guys, that's pretty much our uh, Blue Box collection uh, challenge. Now it's full almost to the top. We got tons of games. We definitely are going to be picking up some more things. So don't forget to uh, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like button, ring that notification bell and keep uh, joining us for some of these amazing finds off of this one app over here in China. And until next time guys, I'll see you again.